I was born in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada in uh, April 6, 1943. <clears throat> My father, <clears throat> excuse me, was in dental school. And these were during the, my mother tells me this, these years were the war years and Canada was uh, involved in the war. I remember um, that my parents were so poor, I had to sit on a flower bin when I ate. And uh, President Tanner was my first branch president. My father graduated and I was five and we moved to Raymond, Alberta and uh, he began his dental practice. Those were lean years then because he was starting a practice, paying off dental bills and, and uh, anyway, uh, I have happy memories of growing up in Raymond. I had lots of friends and uh, some of the things that I loved to do was uh, roller skate and bike ride and I remember, some of my vivid remembers, remembrances are the winters. The winters were very, very, very cold and we could get as much as three feet of snow. But Alberta has a very special climate. In the middle of the winter, the warm winds would come over the Rocky Mountains, melt the snow, and everybody would shout for joy and go out in their uh, short sleeve shirts and then we'd have this wonderful weather for about one week and then the winds would howl and the snow would return. When I was in the second grade my mother wanted me to begin piano lessons and I remember going to my first lesson and I came home with my little book teaching five fingers how to play a little John Thompson book and I went to the piano, opened it up, and I banged on the piano and said, I can't play. It was stupid for me to go for a lesson. Anyway, my mother, that was the beginning. My mother sat with me every day for two years while I practiced the piano, and I progressed very rapidly in those years. Finally, I said, Mother, I know how to practice. I can do that myself. And in Canada, they have uh, piano exams, and they send piano examiners out from Toronto, Canada. So I became uh, part of the Royal Conservatory of Music, became one of their clients. Every year, I took piano exams in June, and I practiced very, very faithfully. As time got on, I became more advanced, and I, it, I had to practice three hours a day. And um, I remember, like my husband said, I promised the Lord if he would help me pass these exams, I would be faithful in my callings. So like I said, I practiced three hours every day and uh, accomplished a lot of things. I learned great big Chopin ballads and nocturnes and, and Bach preludes and fugues and Brahms. Uh, numbers of Brahms and Schubert, and had a rich repertoire. repertoire. I finished the, my final ARCT from the Royal Conservatory of Toronto as I, uh, in my 11th grade, but still continued taking lessons. Maybe a little bit about my background. My grand, great-grandparents joined the church in eastern Canada and traveled to, met the prophet, and they became the pioneers across the plains. And then from there, they traveled, the prophet sent out a proclamation that many of these pioneers had to go to Canada and they settled the land. So I and my husband are both come from Pioneer Stock in Southern Alberta. My high school years, were filled with hard work. <laughs> Our Canadian schools were very, very difficult, and we didn't have any sports for women or uh, extracurricular activities. And every day, it was hours of math and science and chemistry and physics and 
the list went on and on and on. So, as well as piano, I spent three to four hours a day on homework. And I remember some of my high school friends, we would come to the um, high school early in the morning. My best friend, the father was a custodian, and he would let us in the school. And so early in the morning, we'd all get together and try to get all our math problems solved. And I have happy memories of that. But when I was 15, I remember uh, ha having it, my eye on John Galbraith. And he was just a little bit older than me. But one of the fun things that we did in our high school was we had a Sadie Hawkins dance. And the girls really looked forward to this. And this was a time when we could dress up and ask somebody for a date. So I decided I was going to ask John. And I walked up to him in the, high, in the hallway of the high school. And uh, I said, will you go, to, go with me to the Sadie Hawkins dance? And he said, what? Will you come with me to the Sadie Hawkins dance on Friday? And he said, yes. And I ran down the hall the opposite direction. I was so frightened. And then he said, you got to pick me up. Well, we didn't drive and we didn't have cars or anything, so I had to go to his home and knock on the door. We went to the high school together. And I remember that we start, that marrying Sam, they'd come around and grab a couple and take them into the marrying booth. So for five cents, we, I still have my little certificate that we were married. 